Hello and welcome to the SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. And today we're looking at how we can delete duplicate records or rows um, within tables in SQL Server as our chosen RDBMS. So we can see here from a very small sample data set, if we select everything from users, we'll just select all because there's not much data. We have some employee IDs that are duplicated. Now in an ideal world, when we set up the database, we would have constraints to avoid this happening, but we don't always work in an ideal world. So we have 10 rows here, but three rows, Sheila Smith, Francis Peters, and Matthew Taylor are duplicated. So we want to remove these and we want to remove these efficiently. So we're going to use a CTE or a common table expression. Now there are other ways to do this. We could use group by and having, um, with account aggregation, or we could use a max function, but this CTE is actually quite a slick way to do it, I think. So the first thing we need to do, and basically I should, should emphasize that this CTE is just a way to break up the syntax, make it a bit more readable, and we get a temporary results set, we can then query and delete relevant rows. So we start off by naming our CTE, which is just going to be duplicate users. We need the keyword as, and now we're just selecting the relevant um, columns as we would. So employee ID, first name, last name, department. And we're going to alias this row number window function um, by just calling it row number. So row number equal to is essentially the same as saying as row number. So we get the row number and we're gonna partition it, which means that the eventual outcome is we're gonna partition or break up into groups or row sets that employee ID um, and we want to order it by employee ID as well in the standard SQL ascending fashion that's implied without, uh, without actually specifying it. Um, and we'll say from users, the relevant table. <clears throat> so let's look at what happens if we were just to take this part of the, the inner query. So we get the employee ID, the first name, last name department, and we get this row number because we've, we've broken it into partitions or sections. So you'll see that every time there's an employee ID, um, duplicated, we get a two, so a greater than one row number. It'd be the same if there were three instances, we would get up to row number three because we have specified to break this up by the employee ID. So there go, we go, we get Francis Peters a two and we also get a two with Sheila Smith. So this is essentially our way of flagging it to know what we need to delete if it's a duplication. So now we can round out this CTE, we can close the inner part. And from here, all we want to do now is isolate those rows that are not the first row, so are not one, they're duplicates. So we can say delete from duplicate users, the CTE that we specified, remember that temporary results set, and we can say where the row number <coughs> is greater than one, and that will isolate those duplicate rows. Now, where we had 10 rows before with those three duplicate values, if we execute now, we see that, well, we should see three rows affected. There we go. And now if we go back and just select all from our users table, we now have seven rows with those duplicates eliminated. So quite a slick way to do it, a nice way to flag our duplicate rows. And as usual, if you like this content, like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.